Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review of the Zebra G series of gel pens. I wrote a blog post about these in November of 2021, so it's been a little over a year, so I figured it would be good to make a video about them since there's not that many online. Um, so to get started, there's three models here. They're in the wrong order, sorry. Um, and you can probably maybe kind of tell that there's slight quality difference between the three. Um, so starting off with the first, uh, we have the G402 in 0.5 millimeter gel ink. Um, I got this at a like college university bookstore for around six dollars. Um, so you know it's pretty available in different places and it's got 0.5 millimeter ink. And I'll do a writing test of all these to compare at the end. It's got a nice silver aluminum construction. Decent pocket clip, kind of sharp on the ends. This rubber grip is pretty comfortable. And then the refill that it uses is a standard um, Zebra JK refill in 0.5 millimeter, which could also be swapped out or a 0.7 millimeter, um, I believe. No, I forgot to take the, mm, forgot to take the red ball cover off that, and it seems to have bunged something in there up. Uh, that's not good. Well, anyways, I'm sure that the 0.5 works. Sorry about that. Yeah, 0.7 millimeter works just the same. Um, yeah, so that's the um, it's the G402. It's a little finicky. And then moving up the line, we have the uh, G450. So obviously there's a pretty big difference. The G450 uses this matte black brass material. Uh, and it has a, a textured rubber grip rather than just the smooth on the G402. Um, and this one uses, it comes standard with a 0.7 millimeter I think that's 0.7. Let me check. Yeah, 0.7, and the other's 0.5. Um, slightly better pocket clip, as you can tell. It's a lot sturdier. It's got this round barrel, which is nice, and then a little. I'm not sure what that is. It may be zebra in Japanese. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can see. The writing on the next two, the uh, 450 and the 750, are going to be the same. But yeah, lengthwise, they're identical. Weight, I would say they're about the same. So finally, moving up to the uh, the final pen, the top of the line would be the G Zebra G750, um, and the only real difference between the two is the length. The tip, the cone section, and the grip. So the grip on the 750 is this really soft and smooth knurling. And there's more of a, I don't really know, cone shape. And it's, for some reason, it's much longer uh, cone on this one. Um, and this one's slightly heavier. And I don't know, it's... I'd say it's a little more comfortable to use just because of the length and it, it's got the 0.7 refill. Now, the only issue that I have with these pens is the refills that they use. Um, they're really small. Like, you can, they're thick, but they're, the walls of the refill are thick, so there's not all that much ink, and they lay down ink really, really heavy. So I've seen some videos where people 
um, swap refills with other pens, like pilot pens maybe. So I'll probably be looking into that soon, but for now I'm just gonna use uh, the standard JK refills until I run out, because I have a bunch. Um, so yeah, the links to these will be in the description. And uh, yeah, if you like the videos I'm making, feel free to subscribe uh, and drop a comment and check out my blog where I had my original thoughts about these pins. Thanks.